What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMerritech.com and this here is going to be my first boot of this brand new Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Look at this, this thing is beautiful. Now, uh, this was recently released a couple days ago, actually not a couple days, a couple weeks ago, what am I saying? Uh, and I tried to order it like the first couple hours after it was released. That was impossible because uh, everybody wanted one uh, as 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 these things were being rolled out and all the all the stores or all the sites that were selling them they got hit so hard with traffic that everything just froze i guess as far as checkout and now i get as far as uh processing my card it didn't process the card it just froze so i found the site pi hut they had a couple i was able to order two of them from their service so i got these two that came in these anti-static bags and uh, I got the third one from a store here in New York. It's called Tinkersphere. And Tinkersphere, uh, they got one in before I actually got these two in. So I went there, I picked it up, and uh, I'm happy. I need a three because, again, I will be uh, doing a lot of projects where I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 2. I'm going to take advantage of its beastly processor and its uh, one gigabyte of RAM. So I'm really eager to see how this thing performs. It has double the memory of its predecessor, the B+. It has a gigabyte of RAM instead of the 512, and it has a quad-core processor at running at 900 megahertz clock speed, and the predecessor had a single core running at 700 megahertz, so it's six times faster. All right, so let's just uh, start this here. I have everything already set up here. I have the HDMI cable connected to this monitor right there. I have this cable here on standby. This powers the Raspberry Pi. In the back here, I have the HDMI cable. I'm sorry, I have the micro SD card here and I installed Raspbian on here. I burnt the Raspbian image, the newer image that will support the Raspberry Pi 2. And as you see behind here, this is the new one gigabyte RAM chip that's in the back of the Raspberry Pi. So now we're ready to boot this for the first time. I'll just set this down here. And I have to connect this to the Raspberry Pi. It's gonna be challenging to do this with one hand because I have the camera one hand and I'm, I'm trying to connect this to uh, the Raspberry Pi with the other. Let's see if I could get this to actually work. So it needs to connect to here, right? And while I'm holding the Raspberry Pi, let's see if I can get this in. All right, just forget it. Let me just connect it. It'll take forever to get that in, in uh, the frame. All right, so now the Raspberry Pi is loading. The screen started doing stuff. And uh, this is your normal uh, loading Raspberry Pi uh, Linux type kernel thing. It's it's uh, it's moving a lot faster than the the previous model. I can say that for sure because it's already uh, asking for a username and password. The old model it took forever to get to to uh, where it prompts you for a username and password. So it's running a lot faster. Now the by default the username is Pi, P I. Hit enter. And the password is Raspberry. So R. A S P B E R R Y. Hit enter. And it should load, and it did. And now we want to start the graphical user interface. To start the graphical user interface, we have to type in start X. So S T A R T X. Let's hit enter. Hopefully, I typed that correctly, and I did. Now it's loading the GUI here. This is uh, the Raspberry Pi Raspbian GUI here, and let's just. Click on OK here, and for the most part, it seems a lot snappier. Like the reaction of the mouse and the, is a, or the cursor is a lot better actually. And um, here, here is the, I guess the menu. Is, it looks a little bit different. All right, so let me open up games because uh, in the the old model, the Raspberry Pi B Plus, it had 512 megabytes of RAM, so it wasn't really able to run Minecraft too well. You have Minecraft already installed on Raspbian. This is the Minecraft Pi edition. So let me load it. Again, the previous model, uh, it ran, it was able to run Minecraft Pi edition, but it like almost depleted its resources and it was like pretty glitchy. Let's just see if this one works. So let's start it up. And hit start and load the world here. And let's, Start walking. W, I believe, is for walk. And the space here should be jump. Let's da -da -da. Yep. And it's, uh, I can tell you right now, it's it's as normal as you could get with uh, Minecraft. It's not glitchy at all. And all the uh, frames are pretty good here. Let's just turn around here. And 
I forget how to turn. Okay, the mouse cursor thing here turns you around. And I, I, right now I can tell you this is moving a lot smoother than its predecessor it should because it does have uh, four cores instead of one. It has double the memory, so it should run a lot better. So I'm excited, man. I, I To be honest with you, I'm really excited because the sky's the limit with this thing now. Because we're, we're at the line where uh, a, a full computer, full-blown desktop computer where you can run internet, uh, play games, check, uh, do whatever you want, program, uh, could fit in your pocket and it only costs $35. And it, you can do a crazy, uh, diff you can do a lot of different things basically with it. So I'm freaking impressed. And I, I can't wait to uh, start my uh, Raspberry Pi projects or projects. And uh, stay tuned for those. All right, so that's pretty much it for this. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.